The views, thoughts, and opinions expressed in this viewpoint belong solely to the author and do not necessarily represent the views of our company, management, staff, and our affiliates. Well, here we are in 2024 in our beautiful country of Guyana. A land blessed with all the bounties that nature can bestow. A land in the middle of a construction boom. A land of warm, friendly people with hearts as big as the sun. A land bursting with opportunities in all sectors. A land that now has a steady and settled democratic government. Even though this was threatened for five months with instability and chaos by the opposition APNU AFC following the elections of 2020. We teetered on the brink of becoming a pariah state, replete with sanctions and the hardships that would surely follow. But thankfully, patriotic Guyanese of all dimensions stood up to the would-be bullies and put an end to the despotic and dictatorial inclines of the APNU AFC. One would have thought that those shameless actors who tried to bring this wonderful nation to its knees would have slunk away to the dark corners from which they crawled out of, never to be seen again. Indeed, a few of the protagonists exited the stage left to the murky corridors of treachery from which they emanated. But not all. They are the brazen and bold-faced ones. For example, those in the AFC, such as Kamra Dramjatan and Cathy Hughes, who had declared with much aplomb that the Russians are here with fancy computers to rig the election, whilst totally ignoring the fact that the Guyanese people vote with pencil and paper. Let's also never forget David Patterson, who famously barked, A win is a win, and we have the SOPs to show it. Those mysterious documents have never seen the light of day. Perhaps it's hidden in a rodent-infested corner of their so-called center for change. APNU, formerly known as PNC, is a different kettle of fish. The benign but sly David Granger has faded to his grandfatherly rocking chair emerging on occasions to ramble on tales of public interest while still lacerating Guyanese with his development master plan of planting chips and cook-up. The current leader of the APNU PNC, Aubrey Norton, came with a reputation of being a political street fighter, but st staking up the position has been the most ineffectual political non-entity. In fact, his greatest and perhaps only achievement on his political resume is his insatiable palate for guzzling down strong spirits with the best of them in Bamba Mali. As it stands, his leadership is still married in allegations of financial misappropriation of the rapidly dwindling party funds, coupled with allegations of outright racism at party headquarters. Because of the abject failure of the leader of the APNU PNC and those who seek to replace him, such as Amanza Walton Desir, Gary Best, and Royce Del Ford, all have a common thread. They raise baseless accusations of racial discrimination to invoke sympathies of racial sentiments. In effect, they treat the afro guyanese population as if they own them. This single-issue opposition platform is unraveling, as afro guyanese folks from all walks of life are experiencing progress and betterment nationwide under the PPPC. Whenever they voice their approval for the development they can see and feel, they are called all manner of nasty derogatory names that are too disgusting to mention here. As this country marches steadfastly forward, it is all hands on deck. There is no room for hyphens of Indo and afro Guyanese. We are strangely developing a true one Guyana culture. Our beloved nation is on the cusp of greatness. Even as we surmount numerous challenges, we also observe patterns of migration of those drawn to the bounties that we have to offer. And we also stand resolutely against those who are envious and hateful of the magnificent progress we are making. In unity, there is strength, and we are stronger together as one Guyana.
The views, thoughts, and opinions expressed in this viewpoint belong solely to the author and do not necessarily represent the views of our company, management, staff, and our affiliates.